<clears throat> okay, let's go. Hey, what's up guys? This is Mario Park in Seoul. Today, we're in a different place at the moment because it's a fresh new start. I have just graduated from university. As you can see, I'm a freshly new graduate right now. I actually hate that I graduated. The graduation season is back in Korea. All of my friends are graduating and I have just graduated from university. I think it took like 8 years for me. And I have graduated as summa cum laude. Is that how I pronounce it? I actually don't know. So this is the first time I heard this word ever in my life because we don't use this in Korea. Uh, they informed me that we're gonna have graduation ceremony next year, so I'm gonna come back with that next year. So as I graduated, I wanted to share how I felt growing up inside the education system of Korea. A little background of myself, I used to live in Canada for a two and a half years. I did elementary school grade one and grade two. I came back to Korea, I graduated elementary, middle, and high school. After graduating high school, I attended art school and then transferred to study media communications at a different university. Uh, went abroad to Singapore to do my exchange student program. So I can proudly say that I thought a lot about the Korean education system, uh, objectively and subjectively. To begin, I would like to talk about my life in Canada. Uh, I used to live in Canada for about two and a half years and I attended both public and private school. I have many fond memories back then, my friends were so welcoming. Uh, we sometimes keep in touch until now. And I also took music classes. I still can remember the national anthem of Canada. Oh, okay. yes. And I also additionally remember that we had golf classes because I think Canada has a large amount of land. But in Korea, I cannot ever imagine that happening because it is too small. But after returning to Korea, it was a freaking nightmare. I was in second grade again when I came back. Um, and the studying environment was so, so different. Everything was focused on getting good grades, which I found to be more extreme than before. It was the start of the 12 year race for university. Uh, did you know that everybody, almost everybody literally goes to university in Korea? That is a fact. I don't know if you have heard of the so-called academies in Korea. Uh, these are private classes taken after school. All students generally go to this place and study after school about until 10 p.m. Uh, the 10 p.m. regulation was made because actually it went over 10 p.m. a lot. Um, I think normally we would study up until 12 a.m. And sometimes if it, gets, if it gets more extreme, we study until like 2, 3 a.m. I guess. And that was actually normal for the kids. Actually, that was a, such a normal thing that nobody thought it was a weird thing. I don't exactly remember, but I think I attended about five to seven academies uh, when I was in elementary middle school. I lived in a place called Daechidong. Uh, Daechidong is known for the number one educational location area in Korea. In short, it was the worst place for a person like me. Sensitive, always questioning doubtful and eager to do everything like I had too many interests uh, there was an experience that made me want to become a rapper when I was in like about middle school I'm not going to go deep inside this matter because it's gonna get too serious but like having a dream is almost forbidden in the Korean society because we have to take the formal steps we have to graduate elementary, middle, high school. Of course, almost every country does this, but I think everything is just a means to go to university. Meaning that um, almost all of the students don't know what to do when they apply university. 
I always thought university is a place where we can learn about what we are interested in. That's my basic thought. But in Korea, it's the other way around. The goal is university. And almost everybody doesn't know what to do before they go to university. And they just choose a major according to their, let's say, GPA. What do I say? The grades they get from high school or university entrance exam called Sunung. I think my parents were the same. Um, they always told me that just go to university, just go to a great university and you can do anything you want after that. So that doesn't make sense, right? I chose a major that I didn't want and just went to university, but now I can um, choose what I want to do. I think it's better to like choose what you want to do and learn how to make your own path. So the internal conflicts were extreme. For the first time of my life, I wanted to do something, becoming a rapper. But if I, if I pursue my dream, my parents are going to abandon me and I'm going to be miserable forever. And on the other hand, if I pursue going to university, um, I'm not going to be able to pursue my dream for at least six years. You know that six years is almost eternity to a kid, right? Right? I couldn't make up my mind, so I didn't do so well in both fields. However, I went to an art school to still pursue my dream, but a funny thing happened. Like, I was so obsessed in studying after I went to art school. I think it was because I felt I was falling behind compared to my peers. This made me prioritize studying over my real passion, what I really, really wanted to do. Or maybe I just realized that studying is much more easier than succeeding as a musician. After giving up on my lifelong dream, I became more realistic and transferred to one of the top seven universities in Korea to study media communications. Of course, my obsession didn't stop there. Mm -hmm. I was now in another race. Uh, to go into one of the uh, best firms in Korea like Samsung or LG as society wants us to conform being stable I'm not saying that it's a bad thing of course being realistic is needed to pursue one's life but now that I graduated I am actually not sure what I want to pursue realistically of course one day I want to do my own business, um, uh, educational business actually. This was one of the problems I always thought about because not having a dream at a young age was quite sad for me. So that's what I want to do in the future. But, but realistically, I cannot start right now. So I'm still finding out what I really want to do right now, at this moment, when I'm in my 20s. And actually, it's not just me. Um, a lot of my friends in Korea feels the same way as I do. Almost everybody feels like it's right to work at a place they do not want to stay forever. That working is something they should avoid. And not working becomes the lifelong dream. But I truly believe that there is some kind of thing you would really want to pursue in your life like a thing that you would love to wake up to every morning but that's the end result of the Korean education system of course as a whole society um, the education system is truly needed but as an individual I always felt oppressed and it's a place that I can't express myself I have to be normal I can't be too, what do I say, noticeable. Yeah, I think too noticeable is the word. I can't be too noticeable to a lot of people because that's not what everybody wants me to be. I think a lot of Koreans will feel the same way as I do. I just want the education to encourage students to find something they really want, their passion in their lives. 
find something what they want to do for the rest of their lives. Education being the means to find the ends of life. I think that was a nice saying. Yes. So, that was all I had to say for today. I hope you have found this relatable and learned something new. I don't know why it took so long to film this video. I'm always so... What do I say? I'm always so... Scared of talking about myself and expressing my feelings. I think this is this is the Korean education. Mm. So the last thing I want to say is um, try to find something you really love in your life. Something you would really want to wake up to. Goodbye. See you. Next week.